Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' What's Cracking? It's Steve Boss here after this bit. It's titled, Glorilla Tears Makeup Artist Up After She Posts Ugly Video of Her. Definitely saw this vid and it's very unflattering, but I'm not sure why Glow is taking her anger out on the makeup artist. Like, girl, you sat there and, and posed for that video. You looked dead in the camera. If you didn't want her putting it up, you should have said something. When, 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 when it happened <laughs> you can't get mad now you should have been like hey let me, let me look at that video what I'm looking like mm, I, I ain't feeling this don't don't post this but maybe she did do that and that's why she's upset I don't know let's hear what she has to say let's watch okay you guys so Glorilla is going off on her MUA now this all started after the MUA posted an old video of her doing Glow's makeup oh, so, I mean, where there was a certain part actually. where people felt like Glorilla wasn't looking as appealing and social media started dragging her now mind you Glorilla has been going to this MUA for a minute because the MUA has done her makeup three well, she separate really times so cool Glorilla went down. live and she started bashing the MUA she she basically said that her makeup is ugly she does ugly work and she doesn't know why she would post a video from two years ago why'd you go three times then if it was ugly i'm confused i'm trying to understand why that girl uploaded that ugly ass old ass video with that ugly ass makeup did you see that like why would you upload it they want to why would you do this Oh God, dude, I <laughs> That's not what people were commenting on. And it's going back. <laughs> like, ugh. People be cloud chasing. Like, they act like you were brand new. Like, girl, that weird. Oh God, two years ago. <laughs> But that's what no, she uploaded. Yeah, she focused on the wrong thing. I guess she doesn't want to acknowledge that people were talking about her and how she looks. I looked at the comments of that video and they were like, oh, girl, you need to take this down. <laughs> you did Glow wrong. They, they were saying that, but other people were like, oh, Glow looks a mess. You know, she needs to sleep in her makeup. Oh, I thought she was cuter than this. Oh, this exposing her. Those were the main comments that I saw. I didn't see not one speaking on the actual makeup itself people were talking about how you look not how the makeup looks so it's odd that she's focusing on that they told me i liked it though not even didn't like it <laughs> and why'd you go yeah. three times then number one that's why i had been stopped it because cool yeah <laughs> yeah you should know that you know about i already know how to do my makeup with the dad and Glorilla posted this, acting like y'all don't see me every two business days without makeup is crazy. It was just them ugly eyebrow. Mm -hmm. But you're in control of what you post of you with no makeup. Look, I know the game. I do the game, all right? <laughs> you could take 50 different pictures of yourself. And of course, you're going to pick the very best ones from, from that pick. So, of course, you can find some flattering pictures of yourself when you're in control of it. Doesn't mean it's a reflection of how you actually look <laughs> you know it could be a filter on there because to be honest this looks like it's a filter this this looks like a filter low-key maybe a, a light filter it's not an, an exaggerated one but this could you know be face tuned a bit you could have had a filter so trying to post this being like oh y'all this is what i actually look like like she showed a video of what you actually look like and videos are way more uh, reflective of what you look like than, than a photo so um, so the MUA that like she was dragging insecure. actually took to her IG and this is what she had to say so honestly hearing this hurts even though she may not remember the conversation that we had that day but I told her that I was an up and coming makeup artist mm -hmm. I was currently in school yeah, and those I left eyebrows school are that day very early because I was so excited to do her makeup even yeah. two years ago yeah they told me I liked it though no you didn't like it yeah. what's the makeup yeah I told you. number one as you can hear in the video her friend said he looked nice and so have other comments so for her to drag me is just insane. Just for her to still call me back to do her makeup. Plus, she didn't make a boob nug on that. Oh, God. Like, why did you drop this shit down? 
I'm in shock to even have heard her say that. Like, why am I proud? Why is she proud of that? Like, be for real. You was my first celebrity client. Like, anybody would have been proud. I'm sure when you got signed, you was proud too. Like, you had time to perfect your craft just like me. And honestly, if it was just that ugly, I don't understand why you allowed me to do your makeup two more times after that. Like, she has different hairstyles. Every time I worked with her, she always had a new stylist. So I'm just feeling like if you just genuinely didn't like the makeup, you could have got a new makeup bar. I feel that I do very good makeup. I'm based in Atlanta, and I would love for you all. Now, I honestly don't think Glorilla didn't like her makeup. I think she's saying that because she's upset with this makeup artist. Yeah, that's what it really is, because she's focusing on the makeup. Nobody was talking about that. I guess I'm a bit confused, though. If this was two years ago, why didn't you post it two years ago? Why would you wait so long? So I'm kind of questioning her motive. <laughs> that That is a bit odd. I, I feel like she knew it was unflattering. I mean, anybody with eyes can see that it's unflattering. Um, so that's probably why she didn't post it initially. But now after some time has passed, you know, it's probably been a long time since she worked with Glow and feel like, oh, I guess she's not going to work with me anymore. And now she feels like, all right, let me let me post this vid. And let me, you know, show people that, A, I, I worked with Glow at one point And look, she looking busted. And, oh, well, if she don't like it because I ain't even doing her makeup no more. She's not paying me no more. That's what it's giving. Because it doesn't make any sense that you would wait two whole years to post this this video if she was your first celebrity client and you were so happy about it why didn't you post it back then that's that's strange for posting that video which caused her to go viral and get dragged because of the way that she looks because if she didn't like her work if she thought her makeup looks were so ugly she wouldn't have went back to her. i do hate those eyebrows though this is a very this is given like 2010 these are 2010 eyebrows even two years ago is these eyebrows were way, way <laughs> retired. So I don't like it either, to be honest, but um, this is not what people were talking about. They wasn't talking about this end result. They were talking about the the beginning of the video. She barely times. had on any makeup. She liked the way that she did her makeup, which is the reason she kept going back. But she's mad at her again because if she wouldn't have posted that video, she wouldn't have been getting dragged and going viral because of her looks. But I yeah. want to know what you guys feel. Do you feel like Glorilla is wrong? Or do you feel like this MUA is wrong for posting that video? Now, again, the video you know is like two it? years old. So this is a very old video. Who do you think is to blame? Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. But that's all I have for you. And I'll talk to you later. But y'all like my boys. Oh, y'all like this face while playing. And like y'all don't see how I look at Ain't that the mailbox. Oh no, she is. Yeah, girl. what's up? Yeah, I came to show these burn face. Hey, Mother with me. Yeah, she doesn't to care about it. And y'all tell them stop playing with me going out that ugly makeup video. Acting like I don't show my burn face every day. Look, you see me? Show oh, y'all yeah, my burn face every day. Y'all know what's going on. Nose in the house. She just sink her arms. Yeah, big fat. This ain't my shit. This is her. Sitting, sitting on my face. What's up? Be with the T, not glow. Anyway, how you make an Oscar? I don't know how to make my Oscar glow, yeah. What's wrong with it? I do. Are you Acting like a little. Yeah, but you gotta look real close. <laughs> don't ever play, huh? You don't laugh. Sweet. Bunny. Her and I done. No, what? Jealous? Yes. Are you jealous? Yeah, she's insecure. How do I look? Ask your man. Ask a friend. Ask the fan. Ask the hater. <laughs> Ask the girl. Ask the fan. That's my shit. Babe, <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with them? Look. Like, I won't get on her 100%. Like, what? Okay, yeah, she's. That's it with my with everything 100%. Don't stop playing with me. Mad. Got me cutting up before this month. Show. Uncle D. Jeez. Yeah. What's up? Girl, anyway, you're yeah. Father, you're showing just how bad y'all like that. Never let him see you sweat. The Aki way. Well, um. <clears throat> Y'all laughing, no disrespect to the girl. 
It really is disrespect because you know you you're not supposed to upload the video anyway. But shout out to her. She probably got better after two years or whatever. But don't upload no picture and you know they make up one crew. Got these people playing on them. Thanks. What's up? Anyway, yeah. What's y'all favorite songs out there? Like for real, upload. No, and I look mad on the video. Like, girl, take it. Yeah. I'm for real. I don't want... <laughs> I'm for real. Y'all piss me off. Yeah, and I feel... Yeah, real proud. I don't even play like this. And I ain't talking about the makeup artist. Like, shout out to you. Keep doing your job. You feel me? Keep doing your job. But you know you want to post upload that old ass ugly... For them ugly... You know them eyebrows are doing the one, two step. I, I ain't mean call you guys your name, call you. Cause you actually, she actually a cool person. You feel me? But just don't be doing like that. That's still her playing on my top. Like I won't go live. I'll go live right now without a filter. Girl. Poor thing. She's definitely pressed, definitely bothered uh, by people dragging her and calling her ugly. And she's misdirecting her anger and uh, saying the makeup is ugly and she's mad at the makeup artist. That's not the issue, girl. Ultimately, that, that was your face. That's what your face looked like <laughs> and at that point in time. In certain lighting, uh, at certain angles, with certain camera phones, that's what you look like. <laughs> and that's the case with all of us. We all look different in different lighting and with different cameras, different times of the day. Like, that's just what it is. I've taken some atrocious uh, videos and pictures of myself where I'm like, oh my God, I look horrible. To the point where I'm Googling like, what's more accurate, the mirror or my camera? <laughs> Or my camera phones. I'm like, wait, is this what I look like in real life? Is this what y'all see when y'all see me? Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm not cute. Um, you know, so I feel like we've all experienced that uh, for sure. So um, I, I get the insecurity, but at the same time, you can't be mad at this makeup artist because you set your goofy ass there and uh, and pose for that video. So that that's on you, girl. And she said, yeah, this is why I don't let people record me no more. Okay, that was a learning lesson. You gotta take that L and keep it, keep it pushing. People gonna forget about this in no time. Like, I don't know why you're even worried about this, but let's talk about the tea though. The real tea, if you wanna get deeper into a deeper conversation, <laughs> I think it's very interesting that, you know, she talks about being a red bone and light skin in her music. It's like she wants to highlight that she is closer to whiteness in some type of way. I always think it's odd when artists do that when they want to celebrate that, oh, I'm of lighter skin. It's so weird because you're in this black space. And you know, you're in rap in this very black space. You want to align yourself with black culture, country, southern black culture, but you want to be like, hey, let me remind y'all, I'm, I'm of lighter skin tone. I'm lighter than the rest of y'all. This is what makes me different. This is what makes me special. I feel the same way with Lotto. That's another conversation, but look, that's why she named herself Mulatto. She wants to separate herself and be like, look, I'm mixed. I'm, I'm lighter than the rest of y'all. I, I ain't like y'all, but you still want to, you know, be amongst the Negroes and still deep in this hood Negro culture, but want to be like, oh, but I'm light. I'm, I'm red bone. So I think it's wild that she wants to highlight that and wants to separate herself in that way. Uh, but she's being reminded, uh, you got a very Negro nose. <laughs> so, so yeah, come on, come on back to the black side because your, your nose is giving very Negro right there in the center of your face. We can tell you got some African features and there's nothing wrong with having a bigger nose, but I just think that's very ironic that, you know, she talks light skin, red bone, da, 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 da. It's like, oh, hmm, interesting. <laughs> but they reminding you, hey, you still a Negro. Come on back over here with us. So I, I think that, you know, it's a different conversation for a different day. We could really talk about it and get into it. But, you know, mm, there's that. And I like Glow. I love her music. I love her most recent album. I react to it on my Patreon, by the way, if you're interested, link down below. Um, so, you know, it's no shade. But, yeah, I definitely noticed that she made a couple comments on her most recent album about being like, where a bone is this and that. It's like, hmm. People reminding you that, mm, actually, your nose is too big. But I also think that people who do that, also very despicable. If you're a black person making fun of another black person's African features, you are just shameful, okay? This is what white people use to justify treating us uh, like animals. It's like, hey, these black people have these animal features. Look, they're not like us. They put the Kendrick on us, you know, way back then. Hey, they're not like us. This is what makes them different. And this is what justifies us treating them this way. 
we can enslave them and do this and that because look they're not even like human they're not like us they're so different you know if you read any type of literature on slavery and civil rights that definitely has been highlighted so it's very weird for you as a black person to shit on another black person for having african features pathetic fucking pathetic i think she's beautiful i think she's a very attractive woman um so i don't think there's an issue with her nose at all but you know people are going to be ignorant online and that's why she needs to ignore it and keep it pushing but that's just my take on it y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you're gonna watch and i'll see you on the next one bye